When faced with a challenge, I like to tell my friends, just try lah, it's okay if you fail. More often than not, they will tell me, Aya, never mind, always go next time. Do you ever tell yourself that? I know I did. But when I was primary one, I asked my parents, for the first time, and hopefully the last, am I going to die? I have a peanut allergy, and I was six. I remember being rushed to the hospital. My dad was rushing through the Orchard Road traffic, and my mom was trying to keep me from falling asleep. I saw my short little life flash before my eyes, and all I could think about was, oh my god, am I actually going to die? What about my homework due tomorrow? What are my friends going to say? What's going to happen to my family? It sounds dramatic, I know, but for six-year-old me, it scared the life out of me. It took me an allergic reaction to get a whole week off school, season hospital food, freezing aircon, and a moment to look back at my short-lived life and ask myself, what have I been doing all these years? I felt two things back then, fear and regret. I'm sure anyone will be afraid when they realise they might actually die before they get to live. But regret was something unexpected. I didn't realise how, how many things I regretted doing or not having done until I found myself lying on a hospital bed. All those times, I didn't want to try something new with my family because I thought it was embarrassing and that I would definitely fail. And all those times I could have spoken up in school, maybe made some friends, but all I could think about was how awkward that would be. What did it take for me to realise that I wasn't really living my life to the fullest? And what would it take you to realise the same? We spend so much time focusing on what could go wrong that we forget to even try to make it right. It's easy for us to say, I'll do it next time. But really, ask yourself sincerely, how many more next times do we have? Well, fast forward a few years from then, I was at a school camp when I saw this large high elements course just towering over me, literally. Another fun fact about me, I have acrophobia. I am terribly afraid of heights. So it made perfect sense that I had to be dragged up four flights of stairs by my friends to even reach the start of the course. And I was ready to stumble down those four flights of stairs until I looked back at my friends and I asked myself, if I didn't do this now with them, would I ever have the chance to do this again? Primary one me would have probably answered differently, but I told myself, no. Was it worth it? Maybe I did slip and fall more than once, possibly have broken down in tears almost every step of the way. But I can tell you, tell you with certainty that I didn't regret it at all. If I didn't drag myself to the course, I might have regretted missing out on screaming and crying with my friends. But because I did finish that course, I know that I wouldn't look back with regret. Ask yourself this, have you ever missed out on a friend's birthday? Or maybe it was not apologising to someone you've wronged. Thing is, we all have missed opportunities we didn't take. When I was younger, I was much more reserved than I am now. I didn't participate much in group activities or conversations. In fact, my group of friends can be counted on one hand, and I'm sure of it. I only realised afterwards that I missed out on so many opportunities to form close friendships and stronger bonds with the amazing people around me. We might have not understood the value of our relationships with others when we first meet them, but we should always try to make the most of them. Now, I strive to be more open to starting up conversations with others, even if they don't seem like they want to talk to me. I personally find reassurance knowing that I tried to make something work, rather than not taking the chance at all. We don't need to win a Nobel Prize or become the next president to live a fulfilled life. All we have to do is to look at the little things in life and ask ourselves if we would regret not doing them to put ourselves out into the world and foster stronger bonds with the people around you. People you know would drag you out four flights of stairs just to cry with you. But no one is perfect, and similarly, no one is without regrets. Pause and think about this. Picture all the things you have done. It could be hugging onto a support beam, four stories off the floor, hanging on for dear life like me, or other less embarrassing things. Then, 
Think about all the opportunities you've missed. The people you've been with for years, but still haven't said a hi, nice to meet you, too. Put both sides of our lives on the scale. Which side do you see it tilting? Tell ourselves this. Carpe diem. Seize the day. It is never too late to start living, and it doesn't take you a near-death experience for you to turn your life around. So the next time you look out your window and you see the sun set in the horizon, remember that our life is as fleeting as the daylight. At the end of the day, we all hope that our skill will tilt towards the side with all the things we have done. <laughs>